Hi friends. Today in this video, we are discussing about 10 most probable cardiovascular nursing questions for AIMS 2020 nursing officer exam. First question. A patient develops ventricular fibrillation, VF, in a coronary care unit. If you are the nurse reaching there, your first response will be Option 1. Administer oxygen Option 2. Administer IV sodium bicarbonate Option 3. Initiate CPR And Option 4. Is defibrillate the patient The correct answer is Option 4 That is defibrillate the patient Ventricular fibrillation is a dangerous arrhythmia and it should be immediately managed with defibrillation. Question number 2. Doctor's order for digoxin or lanoxin is appropriate for which patient? You can see the ECG of our patients. So, from this ECG, which patients needs digoxin? The correct answer is patient A. That patient's ECG shows atrial fibrillation and digoxin is used to treat atrial fibrillation. Third question. A patient who has myocardial infarction is in the coronary unit on a cardiac monitor and it shows ventricular irritability on the screen. What medication is the nurse expected to administer? Option 1. Digoxin Option 2. Frusamide Option 3. Amiodarone Option 4. Norepinephrine The answer is Amiodarone Fourth question When a pacemaker catheter is being inserted, the patient's heart rate drops to 42 beats per minute. What medication? the physician will order to administer option 1 atropine sulfate option 2 procainamide option 3 digoxin option 4 lidocaine answer is atropine sulfate atropine sulfate is used to increase the heart rate fifth question the nurse in the casualty is assigned to care for four clients with the serious conditions. Which conditions does the nurse identify as the priority? Option 1. Head injury. Option 2. A fractured femur. Option 3. Ventricular fibrillation. Option 4. A penetrating abdominal wound. Answer is Option 3. Ventricular fibrillation. Out of these conditions, VF is the priority serious condition which should be managed immediately. Sixth question. A patient is receiving warfarin sodium, comadin and anticoagulant. The nurse should check which result for calculating the dosage of warfarin. Option A, INR. Option 2, APTT. Option 3, bleeding time and option 4 sedimentation rate the answer is INR INR is used to regulate the dose of warfarin 7th question when nursing a patient after cardiac catheterization which action is most important option 1 administer oxygen 2 provide for rest 3 check the ECG every 5 to 15 minutes 4. Check pulse distal to the insertion site. Answer is 4. That is, check the pulse distal to the insertion site. There is a chance of trauma or hemorrhage at the insertion site. It can affect the blood flow to the distal areas. So, we should check the distal pulses. The nurse want to document a patient's pulse pressure. What must the nurse calculate? Option 1 force exerted against an arterial wall. Option 2, difference between apical and radial rates. Option 3, difference between systolic and diastolic pressure readings. Option 4, 
extent of ventricular contraction in relation to output. Answer is option 3, that is the difference between systolic and diastolic pressure readings, that is known as pulse pressure. Ninth question, when taking a patient's apical pulse, where should the nurse place the stethoscope? Option 1, just to the left of the median point of sternum. 2. In the fifth intercostal space at the left midclavicular line. 3. Between the sixth and seventh ribs at the left mid axillary line. 4. Between the third and fourth ribs and to the left of the sternum. Answer is option 2. That is in the fifth intercostal space at the left mid clavicular line. Tenth question is. The nurse observes the following dysrhythmia on a client's cardiac monitor. What rhythm does the nurse identify? Option 1. Atrial flutter. Option 2. Atrial fibrillation. Option 3. Ventricular fibrillation. Option 4. Ventricular tachycardia. The answer is ventricular fibrillation. That completes the 10 questions. See you in another video with the next set of questions. Thank you.